Now let's look at another very important topic, creating metrics and dimensions through calculated fields. To do this, we'll create a new report. As you already know, we'll keep working with the Google Analytics 4 data source. which we'll name Metric and Dimension Creation. Once we're inside the report, we start by adding a control. The default control is the date range control. Okay, perfect. Let's start with Metric Creation. For this, we add a chart. In this case, I'm going to choose a scorecard and change the default metric to the active user's metric. Let's add another card. And we assign it the new user's metric. OK. When do we use a custom metric? This is used when we want to create a new metric that isn't available and that we can build from the data source. Now, suppose I want to display the sum of active users and new users in another card. If I don't have this metric, I need to create it. So let's do that. We go to this section, select Create Field, and name it Created Users. And here, I'll create the formula for this new metric. You'll see that I can use all mathematical formulas here. Let's say that created users will be the sum of active users plus new users. OK. And we apply the changes. Now you'll see it's displaying the results corresponding to this sum, equal to those users. I can apply the same settings to this new metric as I would to a native metric from Google Analytics. So I assign it a comparison period and want it to compare with the previous period. And look, just like with a native metric, we can apply this kind of configuration. Now, let's say I want to bring this metric into a time series chart, and then I'll copy the formula I used. I'll insert a new chart. This will be a time series. I'll change the metric to a custom metric. So we repeat the process we followed with the previous chart. I'll specify that I want to create a field, and I'll name it Created Users, just as we did in the previous chart. And I'll paste the formula I copied earlier. And that's it. You'll see that my new Created Users metric is working correctly in this chart. As I mentioned before, we can work with any arithmetic operation. Let's make a change. In this case, I'll replace the sum with a division. I apply it, and you'll see it's effectively a division. Now, I want this division to display as a percentage rather than an absolute number. To do this, I go to the Data Type section and select Percentage. OK. And now the metric is displayed as a percentage. Let's set it back to how it was and display it as an integer in Data Type. I want to do a new calculation. For that, we add another chart. And again, I'll select a scorecard and configure it with the items purchased metric. Perfect. Now I want to create a new metric based on these purchased items. I want to know how many of these purchased items were bought per user. So I want to calculate that. Let's add another scorecard. In this new scorecard, we create a new calculated field, which I'll name items per user. All right. In the console, we first bring in items purchased and divide it by total users. Apply, and we're done. Now, you'll see it shows how many items were purchased per total number of users visiting the website. In this case, it's 0.27 items per visitor arriving on my website. Now you've learned how to create your metrics. 
remember that you can always apply any functions you need. In the regular expressions module, there is a class explaining what each available function in Looker Studio is used for. Now, let's look at how dimensions are created. 